Welcome to this video. This is Mark Scythian. The date today is May 20th, 2019. This video will focus on the startup procedures for the CRJ200 on the X-Plane Flight Simulator platform. Thank you very much. Options uh, 9529, Gulfstream traffic, 2 mile final, runway 1, no delay, clip, take off. Okay, flip the master battery switch on. Yeah, verify uh, DC electrical. It's actually uh, DC to AC. This is an inverter system. There's 10 Victor left on Alpha. Right right now, okay. Go ahead and uh, turn the boost pumps on for the APU. Then go over to the continuous ignition cycle circuits. Flip the APU bus interface switch on. Go ahead and start the APU. Keep an eye on the inverter and DC power indications. They should disappear when the APU is uh, functional. Uh, Alright, now go ahead and I'll open up your cross feed weed airports before uh, Trump and Trump State compression. Flow, you want to shut off your bleed air stages, isolating the control valves. Now you're ready to take uh, customer air from the APU to start the left st uh, port engine. Speed to 170, contact tower 119.1. Keep your eye on the, on the N2. At about 18%, we're going to introduce fuel. And this auto ground idle to flight idle fuel sequence. So you, just, much, you can open up both drivers. Gulfstream traffic, two mile final, runway one, no delay, let's take off. Then keep your eye on the turbine inlet temperature. If that goes into the red for more than three seconds, you would disengage fuel and keep the starter on. But we can see that uh, the gas producer and the N1 and the uh, compressor uh, are spooling up good. Got good compression and the temperature's coming down. So that's a successful start. Start right engine, and we're going to get a instant fuel sequence. You're going to see that TIT climb pretty quickly. And if that goes into the red for more than two seconds, you're going to want to disengage the fuel throttle lever in the right, keep the starter on. If it's almost approaching 30%. Now it's coming back down, so we have a successful start and a hot start. Take a peek at that right engine's uh, fan. N1 is spooling up. Now that we have uh, both power plants lit, their onboard generators can be accessed through the two generator switches. Now we can go ahead and disengage our APU generator, or I'm sorry, APU uh, interface circuit. We shut down the battery. So we got power from the engines. And then make sure you just close the isolation valves 
leave these two for the closed stages and the odd position denoting they're closed. And usually for stowaway, those are all disengaged. So during flight, you'd keep those on and then disengage your boost pumps because the AP is already uh, operative. It's got its own uh, fuel boost. And then just disengage your ignition. You don't even need those. Um, and also the engine is lit, so we don't need those either. And then just shut down your APU. Turn on your strobe navigation lights, three of them. Your landing and taxi lights. Then you got your anti ice system on the wing and cowling, so right. Uh, click these two. Actually, click this one. Oops. Go over to this one. There we go. And then these two are sequence switch switches. Alright, um, next uh, we go to our flaps. We have 20, 20 degrees on the uh, takeoff. But we'll cycle them down to 45. We can take a peek at the wing. Test our speed brake spoilers. Got our uh, aileron. And bring it back up to 20%. And then go to your horizontal situation indicator. Your instrumentation. And you can see it. Responding, and then set your elevator trim positive 50%. That would be a coefficient of one on the stab. So set stab trim or elevator trim. It's stab trim in this case. So there it is one. Because that's uh, if you look at horizontal stabilizer, not very large. This is very higher aspect ratio. Uh, aerodynamic structure so you're going to need a little more speed for that t-tail this is meant for higher speeds but you know having uh, about 50 percent positive on the uh, stab trim stabilizer trim stabilizer uh, stab trim actually trim be positive 50 or 50 percent not negative but positive 20 degrees flaps and of course, we got our uh, passenger indicators. And then, see, so we got everything left here. Oops. Turn the ears, we did there. Boost pumps off. Isolation off, closed. Mission off, APU off. Got our anti ice. Everything's uh, ready to go. We got our strobes. We can check, uh, test our CLT. This should uh, adjust engine pressure ratio. Alright, next, uh, yoke, control surfaces, rudder pedals, and we're responding to, uh, Spoiler assisted aileron, elevator, and then rudder and nose wheel. Black salt, everything's good.
Next uh, destination, you can slide over here. It's gonna fly over. Kilo Golf. Kilo Golf, Tango Fox Try, I think. Uh, Kilo Golf, Romeo Fox Try. Tune the nav one, and then we're gonna try to go to the speaking here, non-directional. Click that one, in, tune NDB one, and then. So the first step is to fly in this direction towards the NDB, and when we locate it, we'll have a visual. You can switch over to map two, and then access that. We'll do a VFR. We have ones right there. Line three, select left. Okay. So we can just get it down here. And then DME. And actually, I want to go ADI. High dance, 1200. All right, good. So we're all ready to fly. We can uh, go to the head up display if you want, or down here. And just keep it straight and spool up to about 99%. This actually goes to 104% power, so you're going to be in the red on the M2. So you can just spool slightly below the full throttle position to keep it green and then uh, about 145 knots you want to rotate V1 rotate and then uh, the continuing video I'll just do the flight so I'll see you in the next video